Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On this edition of Christians Unite Bible Readings, we are going to be looking at Hebrews, so go ahead and brew up some coffee and sit back, relax, and enjoy. We're going to go ahead and read uh, Hebrews 13, How to Please God. Keep on loving one another as brothers in Christ. Remember to welcome strangers in your homes. There were some who did it and welcomed angels without knowing it. Remember those who are in prison as though you were in prison with them. Remember those who are suffering as though you were suffering as they are. Marriage should be honored by all, and husbands and wives must be faithful to each other. God will judge those who are immoral and those who commit adultery. Keep your lives free of the love of money and be satisfied with what you have. For God has said, I will never leave you. I will never abandon you. Let us be bold then and say, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Remember your former leaders who spoke God's message to you. Think back on how they lived and died and imitate their faith. Just Christ or Jesus Christ, in the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not let different and strange teachings lead you from the right way. It is good for our souls to be made strong by God's grace, not by obeying rules about foods. Those who obey these rules have not been helped by them. The priests who serve in the Jewish tent have no right to eat of the sacrifice of the altar. The Jewish high priest brings the blood of the animals into the most holy place to offer its sacrifice for sin. But the bodies of the animals are buried outside the camp. For this reason, Jesus also died outside the city gate in order to cleanse the people from sin with his own blood. Let us go then to him outside the camp and share his shame. For there is no permanent city for us to be here on earth. We're looking for the city which is to come. Let us then always offer praise to God as our sacrifice through Jesus. That is, let us always give thanks to his name with our voices. Do not forget to do good and to help others, for these are the sacrifices that please God. Obey your leaders and follow their orders. They watch over your souls without resting. Since they must give an account of their service to God, if you obey them, they will do their work gladly, else they will do it with sadness, and that would keep, would not be any help to you. Keep on praying for us. We are sure to have a clear conscience, for we want to do the right things all the time. And I beg you all the more to pray that God will send me back to you sooner. So this section of scripture unpacks a lot of different things. So one, we should be pleasing God by doing the right things and following his laws. But we should also be fellowshipping with other people and being there for them as well. This is what pleases God. And then it also mentions um, laws, but not the ones that people think of in the Old Testament where you can't eat certain things, you can't do certain practices. Uh, this is showing that when Jesus died on the cross and became that sacrifice, we're not under the old law at all. So this is what this part of the scriptures is talking about, is that we are to follow Jesus Christ and be his, his vessels on earth to show his love. Prayer, verse 20. God is raised from the dead, our Lord Jesus, who is the great shepherd of the sheep because of his death, by which the eternal covenant is sealed. May the God of peace provide you with every good thing you need in order to do his will. And may he, through Jesus Christ, do in us what pleases him. And to Christ be the glory forever and ever. Amen. So, we are to be used by Christ. Whatever he wants to give us or whatever he wants us to do, if we're commanded to do that, that's what we need to be doing. So our lives are not our own. 
It's Jesus Christ that should have control. Final words, verse 22. I beg you, my brothers, to listen patiently to this message of encouragement, for this letter I have written you is not very long. I want you to know that our brother Timothy has been let out of prison. If he comes soon enough, I will give him with me. I see you. Give our greetings to all your leaders and to all the God's people. The brother from Italy sends you this greeting. May God's grace be with you all. So this is just a message um, for the um, disciples and the followers during that time. Um, at this point, this is uh, during a time where the disciples, a lot of them were being put in prison um, and being persecuted. Um, so this is a message uh, saying that Timothy uh, will be released soon. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. Keep following us so we can head into Hebrews chapter 12.